We are learning more tonight about the criminal cases of a man charged with shooting three San Antonio police officers last week. The rampage led to conversations about what can and can't be done to keep repeat offenders off the streets. Garrett Berger talked with the police chief and a top county prosecutor. The second tells us that one of the reasons some of the suspected shooters old cases had not moved forward was because of police. It's been a frequent complaint for San Antonio Police Chief William McManus. People out on bond arrested again. If you are a repeat offender and every time you get let out, you're back at it again. As far as I'm concerned, you should be in jail till your trial. A frustration that rose again last week when three of his officers were shot trying to arrest Jesse Garcia, a felon who'd been arrested twice in the past year, but released on bonds both times, at least until his bondsman lost track of him and warrants were issued. McManus pointed out that some of Garcia's cases had been dragging, too. The most recent example for, for I think it was 11 months, still unindicted, and, and he's out on the street committing crime after crime after crime. The first assistant DA of Bear County says judges generally can't just keep people locked up before their trial. I mean, the, this is an old system that we have, and it was never designed to keep people in jail. I mean, that's kind of the point. It was designed to get people to come back to court. Even if someone who's already out on bond gets arrested again, says there are limited circumstances in which they can be kept in jail. And Garcia didn't originally fit that bill. We could never mandate him. The what law wouldn't allow it. And as for why Garcia's older cases from last September, unauthorized use of a vehicle and felony drug possession hadn't been indicted in 11 months, he said there were, quote, simple basic things they needed first that San Antonio police hadn't done. On the unauthorized use of a motor vehicle case, for example, there, there was never even a statement taken from the owner of the vehicle. That's just basic. So when they're saying, you know, why are they not indicted? Your answer is because your officers didn't get the work we needed. Right. Garcia is now being held in jail after a judge revoked bonds in four of those previous cases earlier this week because shooting at an officer does fit that bill. Garrett Berger, KSAT 12 News. An SAPD spokesperson told us today in an email that statements are usually captured on body cam video and that the DA's office only reached out to request additional info in, information rather on that last case last Friday, the day after Garcia was accused of shooting the officers. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.